United People's TV, final score, Manchester United 1, Leicester 1, I'm here with Ben. Ben, how did you find the game today? Frustrating, started really well first half, um, should have made it 2-0 with Lingard chance, but great save by Schmeichel. Um, and then they went down the other end and scored from the set piece. Um, really impressed with this first half, but second half just petered out again, seen it before. Um, but Leicester do that to, the, to be fair, they've done it all season. If they, they, they come to target a point or, or or they get a goal and go 1-0 ahead, they, they get the result. So, I don't know, this is disappointing. Ha, have, having watched Leicester all season, did you not think that, that there was a lot more emphasis on their defence today and they were more, uh, you know, kind of sat back and, you know, not going for it, but just, you know, kind of sat back and, OK, we're not going to lose this game, but at least if we come out with a draw, then it'll be a good result for us. Exactly, exactly what I, what I just said, basically. You know, they, they set out... And, and they get usually this season they've got what they've aimed to get and they've they've looked long behind. And um, so yeah, basically they've they've come to get a point. They've got it, and um, you know you can see why they've why they're the top of the league. To be fair, because they've ground out results all season. Uh, but more emphasis on United. Disappointing second half. Um, strange substitutions as well. Didn't really understand. I'd never thought to say this, but taking Fellini off, I thought he's played really well again. Um, and he was a threat as well. Um, we don't like scoring from set pieces and then we took him off. So, yeah, disappointing. Disappointing. Do you think that United should have had two penalties? Hard to say. Uh, I can't really say for definite, but yeah, one of the Memphis one definitely looked like a penalty to me. Um, it looked like it was inside the box. I've heard that it was inside the box. Um, but, you know, what can you do? It's Mike Oliver. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> so, you know. Two points lost or a point gained for United? The way the first half went, I'd say two points lost um, because I think we were much the better team. I, I was a bit surprised by Leicester first half. I thought they would have been a lot better, uh, a lot more up for it considering they, considering they could have won the league today. Um, but yeah, I think I think first half we should have we should have we should have put the game to bed. I think yeah, disappointing. I'm disappointed, but it, I mean top four was always a long shot. I think it's gone now. I think it's gone now. So there's no chance of ever getting it in his last three games now. Then we need Southampton to win, I think. But then Arsenal have pretty much guaranteed top four. They've got. City away and then Villa at home, so they'll beat Villa. So they know now. Arsenal will probably go to Emirates and roll over next week. So, not Emirates, sorry, Etihad. <laughs> so you know, I'm not, I'm not confident. It was always going to be a long shot. You never know. You never know. It's football. You never know. But um, this season has been quite crazy. Let's be fair. Yeah, yeah, nothing, yeah. Nothing, yeah. nothing's a given, yeah. is it? It, it? Exactly. I mean, all season we've said it's over. We're not going to get top four. We're not going to do this. We're not going to do that. And still here fighting with a chance. Yeah. yeah. Come out from then. So you never know. I mean, it's it's hard to be optimistic now, but we'll have to just see how how, how the City game goes and. Uh, yeah, hopefully Southampton can do us a favour, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. Southampton did beat Arsenal by four goals to nil. Yeah. And Arsenal that were in form. Yeah. Manchester City. That's it. You don't know what team they're Exactly. Have seen the team sheet. Have they rested any players, you know? Not uh, sure. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Ben, thanks a lot for your time, pal. No worries, mate. Take care, mate. Yeah.